Uh, well, really that depends. Uh, for most people, it's when they become problematic. And that's nearly always when they start to become painful or produce some swelling or uh, their skin becomes a little bit itchy. It is interesting that varicose veins often produce the majority of their symptoms in the summertime uh, when it's warm and they dilate. Uh, and so people often get itchy, sore skin, and that's particularly troublesome around August. Both men and women uh, get varicose veins. Ladies tend to get them a little more quickly, and that's because uh, they get pregnant, and also uh, they have a hormone called progesterone, and progesterone produces a spike just before period time, and also in the last trimester of uh, pregnancy. And progesterone uh, dilates things to allow a baby to pop out, but it also uh, increases the size of your veins. Now, they can affect it in many different ways. They can be painful, they can produce leg swelling, cramping, they can make it difficult to drive back and forth to work because your leg swells. Nearly always it's night cramps, restless legs in the evening, uh, constant swelling, that very heavy dead feeling at the end of the day. So varicose veins are not necessarily a, uh, a threat to your health. Some complications of varicose veins can be very uh, troublesome. They do cause ulcers, they do cause very itchy skin, and they can occasionally produce a clot called thrombophlebitis. And that's where a varicose vein becomes stretched a little, and uh, the vein produces a small clot, and your body hates clot, so it tries to dissolve that clot, and it can become very painful. I would normally seek treatment for my veins when they become painful. If the skin, if your skin is a little itchy, I would also have them treated then. Uh, normally the treatment itself takes perhaps 30 minutes. Uh, I usually tell people it's a little like going to the dentist. It is somewhat uncomfortable, but not that bad. It's certainly not like root canal work. The procedure itself, it does involve some injections to, uh, to give local anaesthetic, but that normally takes a minute or two. Uh, but the total procedure is around about 30 minutes and most people are in the hospital for approximately one hour. So sclerotherapy is where I inject a chemical into a vein. Uh, they're nearly always small uh, thread veins on the leg. Uh, the actual injection is tiny. It's, the needle is probably the same size as an acupuncture needle. It itches a little bit afterwards. Very few people would ever take a painkiller following sclerotherapy. However, afterwards it bruises quite a lot. So sclerotherapy is nearly always done for cosmetic reasons and it almost always requires a few treatments. So each treatment may take 20 minutes, but you will have bruising on your leg for possibly two weeks. And if you have a repeat treatment, again, further bruising for another two weeks, You would walk the dog, for example, immediately afterwards, uh, certainly the next day. But I think it takes about a week to get back to the gym. And I think it would probably take about two weeks to go running, possibly three if you do an awful lot of running. In terms of work, many people go back to work the following day. I think it really depends on the distance from uh, your home to your office. Uh, most People, if they work at home, could work the following day, but I think if you have to commute or use the underground or a train or even drive, well, I would normally tell people to take it easy for the first week. Uh, if they have a very um, a busy uh, job, for example, standing all the time or uh, walking, for example, being a postman, it may take two weeks or so for you to uh, get back to work uh, fully. So uh, sclerotherapy, which takes about, as I said, 20 minutes or so, you would have a bandage on your leg afterwards. Most people uh, could go straight to work if they wished, uh, but from a pain and discomfort point of view, there's virtually none afterwards. And indeed, many people who've had sclerotherapy will go directly to work and certainly can drive there.